Hi, and welcome back to another episode on how to defend. So over here, we have QRadar running. So QRadar is a security monitoring platform. And one of the great things about it, it is that we are use case based. And that's really important because what I want to introduce and recommend to you is part of QRadar application is what we call the use case manager. So if we click under the use case manager over here. We can actually look at the rules, the rules that get triggered as part of a cyber attack. And this really gives us a simple visualization of what to look out for and how can we look out for certain kind of attacks that are coming in and mapping back everything to the mital attack framework, right? So over here, once I scroll in a little more, we can actually look at command and control center and we can look at all this different information and data, right? Like the source address is a known questionable IP coming from your threat intelligence feed. We have your login failures followed by success to the same username. So that could also be a telltale sign that their hackers could be attempting a best guess of the password of the user. All right, and if you look at command and control center, we have potential botnet connection through domain name system. All right, so all this are the basic building blocks of how we can do detections and ultimately mapping all this back to the monitor attack framework, helping us visualize what kind of cyber attack is happening and at which stage is the cyber attack at. So that's really important because if you are at early stage, you still can do different kind of responses to the attack by preventing the hackers from gaining and exploiting into the server. If you're at the late stage, then you have to think about blocking those outgoing or exfiltration of data. Okay, so one thing I want to take a look at over here is actually to go onto the use case manager under Rules Explorer. And if you look at the attack action, so we have coverage map and report, we have detected in time frame, export or and all this different data. And if you look at the left side, we have the rules that are enabled. All right, so we have the building blocks or the rules. We have the type of events, whether it's event, whether it's flow, whether it's offenses. All right, we have the origin, category, grouping of all these different information. All right, so we have action and response, and we have even a way for us to map out the time frame. Okay, so if I look at the bottom over here, so it actually map out very nicely. So I'm gonna just temporarily turn off the visualization. So this is a table format of the MITRE attack framework. So we have like privilege escalation, all these other different tactics. Okay, so we also have like credential access, discovery, initial access. So you can expand on them and you can look at the technique. Okay, so we can actually look at all this different data. We can look at valid accounts and we have mapping confidence, mapping enabled. We have the rule name, for example, we have AWS Cloud detected a successful login from a different geographies from different geographies for the same username. So that would also be a telltale sign that this account that has always been used in, for example, in Singapore, and suddenly there is a login in another part of the world and the user is not stationed there. So that will be a big telltale sign. Okay, so we can look at discovery. And we can look at all this information again, mapping confidence, excessive database connections, database concurrent logins from multiple locations database remote login success, all right, login successful after a scan attempt, meaning a hacker do a scan, say, for example, from Nmap that we have learned a lot from the tutorials in this channel. And after the scan completed, the hacker managed to get into the database. Okay, so that could also be a big telltale sign of a hack. Okay, so we can look at all these different tactics, all this different framework and look at the mital framework and see exactly at which stage is the hacker is the offense happening at and be able to look at what we should do next in order to contain and to remediate against those cyber threats. So once again, let me know what you think about this application and how it is being used in your environment. So thank you so much once again for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I will try my best to answer any of your questions. And will like, share and subscribe to the channel so that you can be kept abreast of the latest cybersecurity tutorial. Thank you so much once again for watching.